what's up guys it's mystic coming to you guys with another youtube video now today we're gonna go over a 450 dollar pc build now uh, this is probably gonna be my last pc build video uh for about a week or so uh because there's gonna be some shows coming up this week and there's also going to be the captain america civil war movie coming out next week and i want to do a video on that as well giving my opinions and thoughts about that so stay tuned for those videos so let's get right into it uh processor intel core i3 4160 3.66 gigahertz dual core processor uh, it has two cores simulates four cores it's a much better option than the 6300 her core is going to be a lot more powerful. It's going to give you that smooth gameplay. Um, it's not going to give you as many frame drops as the FX 6300 would give you or even the Athlon A60K. So it's, it's going to be a much smoother experience in any game. Highly recommended. For the motherboard, I want the Gigabyte GA B85MDS3H Micro ATX motherboard and it has great reviews online has support for your usb 3s has support for dual and quad channel memories it has support for upgrading to an i5 or an i7 later on not overclockable unfortunately but you have that option to upgrade and like i said excellent form factor micro etx so let's move on to the next next piece is the memory the memory is a kingston hyperx fury black uh, one one stick of eight gigs uh, DDR3. Uh, the reason why I went with this is just ease, ease of, of uh, access, easy to upgrade, just so that down the line the user could just go ahead and pop in another another DIM, and you'll have uh, dual channel 16 gigs right away. Super easy. Okay, and then let's uh, let's go over the hard drive. My staple on a lot of these builds, I highly recommend them. I, I usually recommend them anything under $600, $650 price range builds. Uh, it would be the Seagate one terabyte hy hybrid internal hard drive. Again, I love the the hybrid drives because you get you know the the advantage of having those fast boots at the beginning of windows getting into your desktop a lot quicker without having to drop you know uh, over fifty dollars on an ssd and it gives you that massive storage as well for everything else that you need your, your movies games uh music all that stuff and again i highly recommend them and and once again it's a staple of mine absolutely love them a graphics card EVGA GeForce GTX 950 2 gigabyte video card. I was debating between uh, the R7 uh, 370 or even between this and, and the 9, 960, but obviously this card the 950 is a lot more powerful than the uh, R7 370, and you no, know, there's a price difference between this and and the 960. So I opted for this option uh, over the 960. Again, a great card. It's going to be a great pairing with the i3. I was, was originally either going to get, like I said, the um, R7 370 or even the FX 6300. I had to compromise between one of them. I just decided to increase it to $450, pay the extra 40 bucks, and it's going to give the user an absolutely smooth game experience between the GTX 950 and the i3 4160 just because of the frame rate it's going to be nice and smooth um it's not going to give you the super high frame rates on 1080p it's going to be 1080p capable but expect between you know 60 frames on most AAA titles uh 40 you know 40 to 40 to 60 frames depending on the game it's going to be uh some medium high settings Probably no ultra settings on some of the games, but you know, between the, the mixture of settings between medium and high, I'm sure you guys can get a nice smooth gameplay experience between 40 to 60 FPS. Absolutely no problem. Now, the case I went with the Rosewell FBM 05 Micro ATX case. Uh, reason being is because it's affordable, it's reliable but i wanted a case that wasn't too cheap but still had the support for the usb3 in the front just because the motherboard and the cpu take advantage of an extra uh, usb port in the front if you guys need them for you know for your camera for you know any any sort of device that you want to transfer files from external 
uh, hard drive, things like that, you know, just so you have that option as well. Take advantage of the motherboard as well. The power supply, my staple, which would be the EVGA 500 watt 80 plus certified uh, ATX power supply, 500 watts, more than enough, it's quite reliable, it will power everything just fine with a little extra headroom in case you want to swap in an extra hard drive in there, extra storage, you know, that extra RAM, and, uh, and again, it's a staple of mine and it's a great, great option. Again, thanks a lot for the support, I appreciate all the positive comments on all my videos, and I hope you guys continue to like my content. There's a lot more coming up with uh, the new movies and also uh, all the shows that are coming out. So stay tuned for that. Also, um, I wanted to switch up the build. Obviously, I chose an NVIDIA card. I just wanted to show them some love just because in, in lower budget gaming PCs, they're not the best option. The 970, if you're trying to go above 700, obviously that's the, the better option above $700. But again, NVIDIA is a great, great company. You know, absolutely great products. You just have to be careful with the price just because they are a little bit more expensive. Drop a like on the video. Also, give me any more feedback down in the comments. And all your support and all your opinions and feedback are always appreciated. And uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Welcome to the darkness.